what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Utah boy died after he and his friend was playing the fainting game, which led to significant oxygen being cut off to his brain. Tuwe Maui and his friends had been playing the game Friday afternoon in hopes of cutting off oxygen to the brain to obtain a high or rush. His mother found the 12-year-old unconscious shortly after and called 911. She said he was just playing a game and he didn't think things through. Tuwe was in the sixth grade. He was described as a child who loved football and had a zeal for adventure. Now, what's interesting here is that his father died a year and a half ago, and he has six siblings. His mom spent Mother's Day planning his funeral. Whoo, man. Now, y'all know this game, this, uh, this game that they call the fainting game to be also the choking game. If you go to YouTube, these games, you can see this game being played in a lot of videos. Kids choking out, fainting, all kind of stuff. Now YouTube will ban a, an education video. You talk about something uplifting the community or something, it might get banned. But they got videos showing kids how to play the choking game all over all, all over their platform. No such ban. If you have kids, please take note of this. Please share this video with them and talk to them about this game. Don't just automatically assume that your kid is smart enough to not play a game this dumb. Talk to them and ask them, do they know about this game and what do they think about it? And warn them the dangers of the game. Kids need to do something with themselves. Send your kid out on a farm. Let them work with senior citizens or an invalid. Let them do something to give them a sense of purpose because as human beings, we all want attention. Even the people that say they don't want attention, that's a lie. It's one of the most basic needs that human beings have is to feel appreciated, to feel that somebody is paying attention to them. And when you're seeking attention, you will get it any way that you can. If you can get it doing positive things, you'll do that. But if you can get it quicker doing something negative, you'll do that too. Or something foolish, you'll do that. Man, remember when you were a kid and you tried to suffocate yourself to have fun? Of course you don't because you're not a damn imbecile. Man, I tell you, I remember growing up and there was a guy in our neighborhood that sniffed paint from a Coca-Cola can. I don't know how he got that paint in that can, but he would sniff paint. And then I know uh, people that sniffed glue. So we can't act like there wasn't people in our generation that did the same thing, that did stupid, stupid, stupid stuff. All of those guys that I know that sniffed paint and glue, they're dead, locked up, or their minds are just gone. They're fried. But what do you expect when eating Tide Pies and snorting used condoms is the gateway game? No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.